Your Excellency, Chief Minister, Australians one and all, happy Australia Day. I begin by honouring the traditional owners of this country upon which we gather, and in the same spirit of friendship, I greet all Indigenous Australians. On this day, above all days, I honour and recognise your ancient cultures, your unbroken story of pride and endurance, and your continuing connection to this land. And in a spirit of reconciliation, I pledge my untiring efforts to build a nation in which all Australians walk in dignity and equality together. On this day of celebration and affirmation, I acknowledge the outstanding work of the National Australia Day Council in bringing Australia Day festivities to all Australians. Gillian team, well done. And I extend a very warm welcome to everyone gathered here today in our national capital in the centenary year of its founding. I greet those of you who are about to become citizens and those of you who have come in support. Not just friends and family, but those local residents and visitors who have chosen to celebrate their Australia Day by sharing your first Australia Day. Friends, in 1949, my great predecessor, Prime Minister Chifley, officiated at the inaugural Australian Citizenship Ceremony. It was held here in Canberra, and seven aspiring Australians read the new pledge that swore them to bear faithful and true allegiance to King George VI and his successors. Today, in 430 ceremonies across Australia, a record number of people, more than 17,000, are taking the Pledge of Citizenship. The words of the pledge have changed, and so has our nation. Since that day in 1949, more than four million people drawn from every nation in the world have chosen to swear their loyalty to Australia. I'm a proud member of that four million. As migrants, all four million of us, we did not just adopt a new country. We helped transform it and enrich it. And together, as new Australians and old, we made this experiment work. My colleague Penny Wong has used the term muscular multiculturalism to describe how it was done. In this concept of multiculturalism, our nation is not just a patchwork of identities and backgrounds. Ours is a land where flag and oath, mateship and fairness, work and opportunity are open to all and embraced by all. In this way, our multiculturalism is revealed not as an ornament, but as an organising principle, not as a decorative feature of our society, but as a decisive element in our national success. This is true nation building. Firm in the faith that Australia's best days lie ahead and firmly determined to make those days possible through the loyal, productive lives we lead and the national purpose we share. Friends, as migrants, we have come from many places and on many pathways. Whether yours was a flight across the Tasman that lasted hours or a flight from persecution that lasted years, those journeys measured in time and distance are over now. A new journey, a journey of the heart and spirit can begin. It begins in the words of citizenship today and it continues in a lifetime of deeds here on this ancient soil. This is your new country and you'll never want for another. Welcome to citizenship, welcome to Australia, welcome home.